What's poppin' gamers? My name is Caden Lisa and I am here with Riley LeCon. Yes, I'm here. With I'm here back in the studio. Back in the studio, special guest, Riley LeCon. Yeah, this oh is my your goodness. first episode, right? Welcome to uh, Afternoon After School. <laughs> All right. So what kind of, so, you know, back in the day, you believe it or not, I used to host my own show here during Media Club, and that was like two years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool that you get to host your own show now. Like you're gonna get to be able to see yourself on TV. That's just like That's a really pretty... cool experience. So I can imagine. Yeah. Are you prepared to handle it? Oh, uh, I don't fame? know. The I don't fame? know. Oh, I'm the, not sure if I'm. Are you capable. ready to handle DC TV fame? Because I'm not sure if you yeah. are. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna mess around. We're gonna talk about some notable events, whether in sports. Yes. It's the acronym for news. It is. I just remembered that. I was yeah. thinking, oh, I, I got hooked on the sports aspect of it yeah. because I've never played a sport willingly, except soccer when I was young. You I know, when I, back when I was young, so I'm not young right now. I used to play <laughs> soccer. Oof. You ever play soccer? I used to play soccer, yes. I played when I was younger and then stopped. And then like several years later, I decided to get back into it. And, and how'd that go for you? Not what, and not bad. I used to. I played on Vipers, and I was the goalkeeper. Oh, so you like really did good. Yeah. <laughs> so you did like yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. I um. What happened to me was this is a really funny story actually. Um, I got hit in the face with ball, then I passed out, and then I quit soccer. Ooh, that's fun. I and, gotta. And then I never played a sport willingly after that. So that's, that's a fun, fun fact. I not, uh, or a not so fun fact, I guess. You could say. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that's not a very fun fact. It's not a very fun fact at all. Usually, when I tell people that, they're like, uh, okay, that makes sense because, you know, everything about you. <laughs> I just am not a sport person. Not a sport person. The only sport I can really watch is like baseball. Mm. Probably because I like grew up watching baseball because my parents. I, I would like baseball mo more, but it's really slow paced, you know? It is. It's like very, you have to wait for each pitch to happen. And then eventually, you know, maybe he hits it. You just and have stuff to happens. wait for things to happen. Yeah, yeah, you have to wait for things to happen. Yeah, it's very I mean, slow. I'm an American. I don't like waiting for things to happen. So, uh, me yeah. Too. But I'm. I, I mean, have you ever been to a baseball game like live? Though? I have, and I was too young to remember any of it. But yeah. It's ironic how the one thing I didn't want to talk about was sports, but here we and are. And you brought up talking about sports. Cause like you know, I went to a live baseball game. And as soon as I sat down, a ball like whizzed past me. I'm like, all oh my right, goodness. well, welcome. Oh my goodness, that's pretty lucky. It's like, or not lucky. No, lucky because I didn't die. That's that's fair. Because I'm lucky dad because if I died. Lucky because this didn't kill me. Yeah. Seven lock schedule. I know it's late to discussion, but how do you yeah. feel about it? Okay, so here's my opinion on the seven lock schedule. I'm looking right into your soul as I say this, so everyone knows how I feel about it. I gotta say, I'm not a fan. Me neither. I'm not a fan because I don't think it's realistic. I don't think it's realistic for people that are trying to get into college and are going to be in college soon, like somebody, me. I'm going to go to college soon, and I'm right now I'm taking seven classes, and they're all a lot. Some classes, you know, are really interesting, but none of them are ever long enough. Yeah, I understand that. They're not long enough, and I am being stacked with homework from all sides instead of worrying about four things. And I don't need that kind of stress in my <laughs> yeah. life. I was gonna take AP classes, like eventually, like it's junior year, which is next year. Oh but, yeah, I mean, take AP classes. But, I, but I'm, like, I'm not even sure if I can handle doing that with six other classes to have to deal with too. Do you understand? Yeah, he agrees with me <laughs> back there. Yeah, you can't see, but Greg is, is very enthusiastic about let's, this. Let's go, Greg. Yeah, but like, 
Take AP classes, absolutely. All right. But like, don't go crazy. No, yeah, of course, of course. That That's just sense. good advice. Don't go crazy. I don't want to fail either, because I feel like if I take it, I'm going to just like get overwhelmed. You should never fail, fail anything. Well, you should fail sometimes, because without failure, you can never truly know success, and that's the T. But like, just, I mean, take one AP class. Yeah. Here's what I did. I took one AP class my sophomore year, I took one my junior year, and now that I'm a senior, I'm taking two. Nice. And that's it. Like, yeah. only take AP classes you're interested in. Because mm. if you just do it with some random thing, it's not going to be interesting at you all. You will hate your life, I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I guarantee. How do you feel about going back to sports a little bit? How do you going go back to, let's backtrack. What about sports? Uh, how do you feel about the NBA? Because here's a little rant and tangent here. Okay. I like basketball as a sport. I mm -hmm. like watching it. But I just hate the NBA because there's only like one good team and everyone else is like lackluster compared to them. I just feel like basketball is a fast, high octane sport. It's very fast paced. But because of how like unbalanced the league is, it's just, it's just unfair and just not fun to watch at all. And there's no point to it till the very end. Okay, but have you ever played Wii Sports Resort basketball? Oh, Wii basketball? Oh, yeah. of course. I, yeah, something about Wii Sports, that's the only sport I will play willingly. My Wii Sports Resort just like broke because my little brother stepped on air or something like that. It was a while ago. Oh my God, that's a lot. <sighs> I mean, I, I like Wii Sports. I like the, the sword one. Where you get to just oh, like yeah. hit that's, people. Oh yeah, that's fun, just You mash, just, you you just like run this. down the thing and just like are just totally like, yeah. You know, getting rid of everyone in your path, basically, and they, like, disappear. But when you, like, pass all the levels, they start to get, like, scarier and scarier. And oh, basically, yeah. everybody just wants to kill you in Wii Sports. And if, this is a legend, it's absolutely true. Ooh. If you die in Wii Sports you, Resort, you die in real life. Wow. It's like, um, what was that one, this is going to be, I'm, I'm dating myself here, but what was that one anime that where if you die in the game, you die in real life? Sword Art Online. It's like Sword Art Online. If you die in the never game, you die in real life. Exactly. That's the point. If you've never heard of it, that's the point. I don't like anime. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too big on it. It's, I mean, we all, most of us had an anime phase in the seventh grade. Nope. <laughs> never did that. And anyone ever do that where you just watch anime and you're like, oh, look at me. I'm so cultured. I'm so cool. I'm watching anime. But then like, you know, you turn like, you know, 14 and you're like, ugh. E. No thanks. I don't know. I feel like I... People are like that with most things that they like. They're yeah. really into it, and then like as soon as they just like get slightly more distant from it, they're like, oh. Mm. One of the things I never grew out of was Nintendo. Like I, I really? used to love that stuff so much, and I, I still love it to this that's day. That's so sweet. It's quality. That's so that's so sweet. I love when people are really like passionate about stuff. Yeah. Like that's it's so. I just messed up with the mic. That's so <laughs> endearing when you're really that excited about something. Mm. And like it just you can see that in their eyes and they're like just so like fired up about it. Mm -hmm. I think that's adorable. I think Thank that's you. really sweet. Thank you. I wasn't talking about you, I mean. I'm kidding. I'm I mean, kidding. I know. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just messing around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I I feel like the products that they push out are very high quality and better than the competition. And they're fun. So. And that is the tea. I mean the last Nintendo really the thing I ever really um bought was Super Smash for the Wii U, and we all know that turned out, so. They, just made, they released a new one, the, the one on the Nintendo Switch. I bought it, first day it came out, it's amazing. Really? I spent hundreds of hours on it, and still haven't like done what the game has to offer. Like It's mind-blowing. What, what does the game have to offer? All right, so there's a 30 to 40 hour single player campaign, which I haven't even touched. Oh. There's a, there's a, Several hours of gameplay, just like, just playing with your friends. Like I play with my older brothers a lot. Yeah. My older brother too, which is weird because mm -hmm. he's he's more of an Xbox guy. But uh. Okay. And then there is a bunch of mini game modes, like mm -hmm. classic mode, where you just beat against a bunch of enemies in like one go, one life. Yeah. And then there is the spirit mode, where you basically just do a bunch of mini games. Like you play against a character, where it's like stand on a mode on a certain stage and you can only play as a certain character and these random effects happen. It's yeah. so much fun. And there's online too, so you can play against people from You can beat up strangers around the, around the world. All right. Virtually. Speaking of virtually, it's about time that we wrap this up, homie. <laughs> this has been Riley LeCon and Kate and Lisa. Afternoon after school.
<laughs> Good morning, Dartmouth High School, and welcome to the Friday edition of The Tribe. We're your hosts. I'm Riley LeConte. And I'm Terry Santos. actually do it like look around at each other <laughs> in the audience believe it or not when you say dumpster to refer to a trash can that's a brand name and guess what dumpsters are the number one selling brand of trash can same with each of these Welcome back everybody. I'm here at Afternoon After School with two very special guests. We have Jamie Pedro and Mr. Robert Parati. You probably should have banned them, but uh, here they're going to talk about TED and what that kind of stuff is and what it brings to the school. Okay, All right. I, guess, uh, I guess I can begin. So uh, <laughs> TED Talks this year is uh, uh, Keys to the World, correct, Jamie? Yep. And um, it was our job as the advanced video class to create a broadcast. Guess what we're doing this year? It is going to be broadcast, broadcast live to oh you at home, everybody. Oh my, oh my goodness. So the entire school will see the TED Talks live this year, February 8th starting at roughly around 7.30 a.m., between 7.30 a.m. and 7.45 a.m., mm -hmm. uh, we will start the live stream. What's cool Ooh. about it is if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, just go. Just Shameless yeah. plug. I'll actually, I'll let Jamie do it. So if you can subscribe, Jamie will instruct you on how to subscribe to our YouTube channel. After Take it away, Jamie. I get to give them like a full introduction. Um, of course, yes. Full how, do you, how, how do you subscribe? Okay, so give them a lesson. You go to www.youtube.com to get on YouTube. Oh my goodness. <laughs> how, I go. can't even do that. <laughs> Not many of us can. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then we go to the search bar, and you type in DHS TV Media. All one word. The plot thickens. One, word. one, word. one, word. one, word. one and word. And then you press search. Or enter, I guess. Or enter. Enter to search. Same thing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But there's also like you can click it. Okay. Yes. I know what Absolutely. I'm talking about. Press the. Nice and then the little logo comes up. It's like the little Dartmouth Indian head. And then you, you click on it and it brings you to our YouTube channel. Oh my goodness. Okay. Goodness. And so after that, you press the little red button that says subscribe and then boom, you You're subscribe to our channel. Right. Oh my goodness. That's it. That's right. it, folks. So, uh, so if you subscribe to our channel, what's cool about it is um, you'll get, not only will you get all the notifications of when we upload new videos, but you'll get the notifications of when we go, um, when we stream anything live. So I don't know if anybody's cool. aware, but we've been streaming the uh, morning announcement shows live every day, but that will end because next semester that class is period three, so we cannot stream our morning show live. Ooh. But you will still get notifications when we upload the show, so we will still be uploading shows daily. So if you subscribe, uh, as a subscriber, you get all those cool notifications telling mm -hmm. you um, every time we upload a video, which is pretty cool. And you'll also get reminders of when we have um, live stream events coming up, like TED Talks on February 8th. As soon as you subscribe, you'll be getting um, reminders, which is cool too. But Mr. Parati, what type of equipment are you gonna use to live stream the TED Talks to YouTube? That's a very good question. So um, it's cool because we're not utilizing all our own equipment. We're actually working with um, DCTV this year. 
Ooh. And DCTV is bringing their pretty fancy big um, production truck, um, which they usually use here at the school for like games and whatnot. Yeah, for logging and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um, or for concerts, you might have seen it. So, uh, we are actually manning their big production truck, which will be parked out like behind the auditorium in the loading dock area. Really? And um, Jamie will be in the truck, truck directing. The entire day. Absolutely. Oh, Jamie and um, Jem will be in the truck directing. And then uh, Caden, you'll be there working camera. Woo. Uh, I think Andrew, Andrew will be on our, the our crew member who's in the control Oliver will room. be on the camera. Ben yeah. will be on the camera. <laughs> All your favorites will be on the camera. Right. So. Um, so yeah, we'll be um, the students will all be manning the equipment, and we'll simply be streaming live to uh, YouTube out of the truck. So it'll be cool. It's cool. We'll be recording it too, but the idea is we want to stream it live. And the reason being is, last year a lot of teachers were upset that they couldn't um, either one attend the TED talks because uh, either the auditorium was full all or the seats fill up really yeah fast. the seats fill up fast, so not everybody can see it in person live. So um, we thought if we streamed it live, that that way anybody in the school can, um, can see it on, on their video projector in their classroom. So everybody will have a chance to actually see it as it's happening, which is pretty cool. Tune in. It's cool how you give. Subscribe. It's cool how you give the opportunity to the students that aren't that avid or that are really good at using the equipment to spend more time, spend an entire day using the equipment and practicing with it to shine and learn how to use said equipment and cameras and the control room and all that stuff in the big truck. Big the truck. Big truck. It's huge. So, um, Massive. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> maybe not that big. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so it's, it's the first time we're streaming TED Talks Live this year. This is our very first attempt at it, but I'm sure it'll be a great success. And um, speaking about successes, Ooh. I also want to mention that um, I'm not sure when this show will air, but if it airs before January 30th, we have our special premiere night of um, <laughs> our big, Shark big Tank. version of Shark Tank, which we're calling the Big Green Tank. Oh big my goodness! Green Tank. Did you so say Big Green Tank? This big. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so it's the Big Green Tank, um, which is our version of Shark Tank. And uh, we're premiering the, um, the completed episode uh, January 30th. It's Wednesday night. Wednesday 6 night. 6.30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. LMC. here in the library, yeah. So no way. if you can um, attend, come to the premiere, very special premiere. We, we can see It's you. really good. And I'm not just saying that. We spent a lot of time putting in sound effects. I spent so much time. Uh, graphics. All the time. Um, I did not Cool edits. Trying to think what you know, unless do. unless this airs after I that. I worked on exactly one jump cut. <laughs> Thank you. Well, ja Jamie had limited role because in that production, but Jamie's got a big role in the uh, TED Talks. That's Jamie's uh, Directed. big production. So, um, but shout out Shameless to like uh, Ben Rio. Ben Rio did do a lot of work on the um, mm -hmm. Big Green Tank. He did a ton of work on it. Uh, Sarah Ferreira, Riley LeConte, who you just had on. She Ooh. was um, the director for for, uh, for the um, Big Green Tank. She directed part of the program. So it's really cool. It came out really good. If, um, and the kids worked worked hard on it. So. If you see yeah. any of those kids in the hallway, give them a nice pat on the back. That was his shoulder. They'll appreciate it. Or shoulder. For that matter. Thank you for, for <laughs> like, being as specific as humanly possible. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for uh, what's going on in the. I mean, we're hoping to do um, more shows next semester, like this, uh, like this one. Where, <laughs> um, actually, where we're contemplating and we're looking into it, but we're trying to do our version of a minute to win it. No if way. I've seen it. Yeah. So they did that at the middle school. Ja this it's might fun. be Jamie's uh, Jamie's big production as well, is we'll to see. do a minute to win it. We're gonna actually. We're thinking of producing it in the fitness center here oh, and making it look like the real show. So that's can, the idea. You can I be a contestant on that. On that? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You can be our first contestant, but it's in pairs. So you got to find a partner. Maybe uh, Greg. Greg, let's go, Greg. Greg seems very interesting. Andrew in the back room <laughs> could be your partner. So nice. we'll see how it goes. We'll let you know. We'll keep you posted. Thank you. So. All right. Well, this has been afternoon. 
after school. Hosted by Kate and Lisa, cameraman Greg Palmer, backroom man Andrew Reed, with guests Mr. Prodi and Jamie. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Extreme close up.